All right, this is part two. It's still 1221. Um, I just want to go quickly into this because of the 15 minute limit. I wish I had a, anybody know of any other software where I don't have to use this schematic. Please let me know. Um, we ended off with this school being demolished. Here's the story of that. What, what was supposed to be a three week job turned into a year and a half job. Uh, of, I mean, they literally, the school's no longer there. They brought in this unknown guy. It was all just kind of weird. I had a background run. See how the windows are all smashed out and all the graffiti's covered up. Um, the whole thing became quite weird because even uh, the the guy that was doing the demo, um, we ran a background on him and, and just... It didn't come out very good, and I'll just leave it at that. But you can see that the school was indeed demoed. They demolished the whole school. Um, what what I'm told is that uh, that this uh, that this it's so much for for me to to go into on this school over here where these basketball courts. Everybody see these basketball hoops? See how they're gone? You see how they're they're gone? Somebody stole them. How do you still ba explain this to me? They put it. They they removed the day shift when the demo team came in. How do you um? How do you still basketball court hoops? They're gone. We were we were accused of not guarding them, but luckily we were able to prove these are cubicles over here. See, they're all just cut down and stolen for scrap metal. That's how dangerous this area is. We were able to prove with before and after pictures, because we would take video daily of this site, that it, it wasn't us. So let's talk about the kill zone again one more time so you guys can understand what I mean by the kill zone. I'd say this photo is probably about a year old. Um, the reason why we called it the kill zone is because when you came in through here, there was no light at all, and you there was you had to come out here. And they had high points. They would literally sit in this little, it's like a, a, a inverted inverted area where they could hide. All of the wiring on top of the school had been gone. People would follow you in, and these owls like guarded the entrance to this. These four white owls would basically threaten you. See these tall trees right here? You know, I used to park a car right here because I had a view of. It's all about how I had a view of this. But they, I had a view behind me. I literally drove my car into here, Crown Vic, and pulled my weapon multiple times around this area. Usually gang members, almost always. Um, but after a while they got the idea just like every other site we did uh, so entering the kill zone you had to get past the four white owls and then you had to get past all the satanic graffiti and then an arson in here and the smell of smoke and the goal was to come out the other side alive by yourself at night with no light except for your flashlight and, and understand they have the high ground all these windows were smashed out there was satan all these windows were smashed up there's no alarm there's, and when i mean no power there's no power no alarm and so we would call the police now they could show up here and meet us or they could show up here at a gate or here at a gate or even over here at a gate but you know what what happened was they just refused to respond to our calls they said that's what armed security is for you know they, 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 there was no reason for us to respond sometimes even in life threatening uh, situations and when they did respond to rob um, they didn't back him up and they let the gang member go and that is the officer that showed up at my house so anyway long story short on 11 11 11 I was rob was out here and he called for code 3 cover so it took me like five minutes going like 90 miles an hour to come up the freeway and to come in here and give him cover and uh, the people or whatever it was we don't know we don't we believe it was something supernatural vanished into this area 
there was benches in here you could sit on. So Rob and I, we cleared this whole area. And while Rob's over here, I'm watching his back over here because you could drive on this. Everybody see you can drive on this. We had a key to this. We could just drive out and literally exit out onto Posado right here. And then this goes right to the freeway. See that? Um, and then you're gone. This is 70. Five minutes from here and you're at Beale. So um, <clears throat> this is a mobile home park right there. We, we we felt evil in there, and Rob, uh, we cleared it. We decided, you know, look, it ain't worth dying out here. So Rob, he's U.S. Marine Corps Operation Enduring Freedom, 24 years old. He he, uh, <clears throat> We got to talking about some of the things he'd encountered, you know. If you can ever get close enough to a good Marine friend, and they can open up to you about, you know, how they had to shoot people and didn't want to, that... You know they don't they don't open up to everybody. It, it's a good way to witness to them. And he's a strong Christian now. He explained one time how he had to shoot somebody and he didn't want to, but it was his life <clears throat> or the other guy's life. And he popped up and put some rounds in the guy and pretty sad. He didn't want to do it. And so he would actually keep his gun unchambered out here. I know it sounds crazy, but he knew that what he was dealing with out here, uh, bullets wouldn't hurt it. And so when he was over here, I saw these two big tall angels, literally like 12 foot tall angels. And I told him about them, and he said he'd seen them out here before too. <clears throat> so luckily they completed demolishing this, this whole area. If you drove by right now on uh, 1208 Posado, you'll find out it's just nothing but a field. All of this is gone. Uh, it used to be Indian burial ground, but we're told uh, after that it was a secret area that Buell Air Force Base used in conjunction with uh, uh, Sutter Butte, which has missile silos up there, which is kind of up here in Sutter County to the uh, northwest. All three of them worked as a as a secret area to prepare for you know war. This was like way before I was even born. And then you have the airport route. What I want to make very clear is on 11-11, I finished my ministering license. I was, you know, going through the ministry to get my license while I was out here working nights. I got on my knees right here in total darkness. I had knee pads on my BDUs and everything. I didn't care about dirt. The whole place was dirty and filthy. Um, and God asked me, he said, are you willing to forsake all and accept the call? And I said, what? Well, you know, he wanted me to go into a prophetic ministry. And that's what I've been doing since then. And I saw these two angels standing here. And I didn't answer right away. It took me three weeks because my, uh, you know, my mother had died in 07. And she had a prophetic ministry. And I knew she told me it cost her everything. This is the track. Look, it was the track. Uh, but it was worth it. And I knew what God was asking me to do. Uh, road actually looks blocked right here what god was asking me to do was going to cost me my friends my friend my family think i'd crazy so i didn't immediately say yes but i did ultimately say yes and it, after i said yes i would walk around this area with absolutely no fear at all because the angels walked with me so what i want to show is everybody's talking about how those lights have always been there well we have a direct line of sight of what i uploaded and what I've been uploading, those uh, fallen angel lights, they weren't always there because it was my job to look. This is where they're blinking over here every night. They weren't there. They weren't there in 2010. They weren't there in 2011. I would have seen them. How could I not see them? I'm walking around right underneath the sky. They only started being there tonight. And so I want to clear up something from last night. Um, when I walked outside and I saw those things everywhere, first of all, those angels, I did accept the call and I have been prophesying ever since. And God has not been wrong yet once. And the moment I say something wrong, then I will delete my whole entire channel. 
But when I said yes, God has shown me things. And what he's shown me in the sky is Ezekiel 14 and uh, Revelation 12. And I'm going to tie that together. I just need more time. Those angels followed me to my house. I've seen them in my backyard. But they've also uh, followed me to, uh, how do you go to like your starting point? This, or, um, I'll show you how close I live from here. But. Uh, basically down 70. Uh, yeah, here's where I live. See, this, this is where I live. This is Beale, and then the school's right over here. That's how close it is. So, not only did the uh, the angels follow me, but some of those demons did too. As a matter of fact, one of them attacked me in my sleep last night. So I had, uh, and I had a dream last night. Let me mention this. I also had a dream last night and I heard the words 10 8 and I said, God, what is that? And it was an earthquake. Can you imagine an earthquake that's 10.8? I can't, but I heard it. So let me just close by saying this. I need more time. This is more about me and confirmation. The, the school, I showed you the school where the Marines guarding the, uh, the school. Just look, listen to my 2013 prophecy because the Marine and the school and the Latin Kings and the fallen angels are all part of this. First of all, let me clarify one thing too. I, when I heard God say Operation Follow an Angel, God didn't say go Google it. I said, Lord, what are all these blinking lights in the sky? And he said, Operation Fallen Angel. And then I went and Googled it. God didn't say Google it. I just, that's what I do. When I hear something from God, I do research on it. God said, Operation Fallen Angel. So what's going to happen is, before my mom went home to be with the Lord, she said that they're going to fake an alien invasion on us. And that's how they're going to explain us away in the rapture when we're taken up, that we were uh, taken by aliens. So what, and the government knows this, so they're going to, they're doing this fake alien invasion, and they're going to kill people. That's what I meant by Biden referring to soldiers as fallen angels and these gang members literally gunning down children in the street and our government even killing people. And, and look at Sandy Hook. Uh, it, it's going to be get worse and worse and worse, not better and better. I don't want to sound doom and gloom, but um, there will be a fake alien invasion and, 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 and many people will be killed. And they'll, uh, but that will happen before the rapture. And I believe they're setting that up. Now, I want to ask you one question, since everybody uh, had all these questions for me. Is Lucifer uh, the bright and morning star, which is Venus, in Revelation 14? Is that the same Satan that is mentioned in Revelation 12? If you can answer me that, then you'll be uh, one step uh, ahead of everybody else. Because I submit to you that... Uh, Lucifer is a Latin term, and that's what the Latin kings worshipped was the devil. Lucifer's Latin. It's not Hebrew. That'll blow your mind, huh? So I hope this somehow helps somehow. That's a radio station. To understand that there's gonna the government is going to they're preparing to this fake alien invasion. And you say, that sounds crazy. What doesn't sound crazy these days? And that they'll, a lot of people are going to go disappeared, but they won't be raptured yet. They will be in FEMA camps while the, the, the world system tries to, to bring in this Antichrist system. And then Jesus will come back. That's why he said, take heed that no man deceives you. I know there's better ways to explain it. I, I mean, look, I, I, have, I have so many different um i have so many different tabs to let me show you i showed you though i have all these different um sources and I, I just can't you know with today my wife getting ready to get re prepare for the holiday and taking a, a little mini vacation I, I can't just rush this so i hope this is good enough to uh explain to everybody about what I meant when I said this was more about me. It's confirmation of my ministry. The Marine, the date, 
the the stuff I'm seeing in the sky, Beale Air Force Base, the schools, 